Now, your News 9 Sports. Little bit of a rough start out here at Lacrosse, Austin Schindler at State Track, day number two, and we had a little bit of rain about three hours from basically the start to about noon, but didn't stop these athletes from going and achieving their dreams. Our highlight of the day, Iola Scandinavia. They brought the thunder with the rain. Jensen Rice putting up a day to remember. The sophomore taking home the gold in not only the 110 hurdles, but also the 100 meter dash, 10.94 in that 100. Rice knowing this since this morning, he was going to be in that hunt. You know, I felt more pressure yesterday in the prelims. I was a little bit more nervous than today. You know, I, I showed yesterday uh, what I could do. So, I mean, I think today was just uh, finalizing that. Then sticking with the T-Birds, you've heard the name before. It's Charlie Vader, the state champ in cross country. Yeah, he was adding to his collection with the 3,200 yesterday, the 1,600 today. Something he set out to do, and he proved it. A dominating win as he closes his senior season. It, it really means a lot just to like repeat the double and I've been saying this all weekend but just to like show with no doubt that I'm the best there is. Kind of just point to all the people that really make this possible and contribute to my success. Then Bella Thomas of Assumption, she proved her royalty. The sophomore taking the 100 meter and then the 200 winning by a hundredth of a second appreciating the journey she's been through. All I could do is just smile and you know I've worked hard to be here so it's just like a really great feeling knowing that all the work that I put in has paid off. And so a much deserved love for Rosholt. The Hornets finding gold in the 200 and 400 meter dashes. Alex Wurzba, 21.91 in the 200, a narrow 800th of a second gold medal. Then another close one in the 400 at 48.33. Hold form, don't fall, and finish strong. Well, not a lot of people get to come down here and to even do multiple events. It's a blessing, so yeah. Stratford roars as a team, grabbing number one on the podium with a four by 100. You have to have handoffs that are perfect. You have to look at your mark that's perfect. You have to trust your teammates. You have to trust yourself. And that's what we did today when we took home the gold. And then how about Anna Michalski from Schwamigan? She gets it done in the 1600 yesterday. Well, no different here today in the 3200, beating her opponent in second place by over 10 seconds. It definitely comes from my family. I hear them in the crowd and everything. And um, it also just comes from, I guess, um, just how far I've come in my running journey and my running story. Um, I would have never imagined to be at this point. Other top finishers, Everest Blake Polster, as close as a finish as it gets in the 300 meters taken second. Then right here for Lakeland, Owen Clark fighting every single inch. Second place finish in the 1600. Then over the discus, Colby's Dalen Reich. Right there in the discus, but she grabs the silver. Then some other notables, Iola Scandinavia, they take the Team Division Three Championship. Edgar gets on the board as well. They take the number one podium spot in the four by 400. And lastly, Pacelli, well, they had a great showing to the Cardinals. They take the podium twice in the top three, the second in the four by 100, then third in the four by 400. Over to individuals, Nick Tushner from Spash taking second in the long jump. Then it's Taylor Kars of Crandon, as well as Nolan Linder of Newman Catholic. They grab second and third spots behind Charlie Vader in the 1600 meter. Tyler Janikowski did it all for three lakes, finishing third in the long jump. Jet Schoner grabbing a bronze for his Stratford Tigers in the 200 meter and Mosinee gets on the board with Omar Ingram in the high jump, taking third place. Over to the girls, Milena tells show of Athens flying high as she gets her Blue Jays, a silver medal on the pole vault. Cross country champ Nora Gremben of Northland Pines, she gets second in the 3200. All right, that's a wrap from State Track and Field here in La Crosse. Plenty of athletes from the area finally hitting that podium. And congrats to all the athletes that put in their best effort. In La Crosse, Austin Schindler, News 9 Sports.